Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe now and I'll introduce you to this video. So on this video, guys, I'll be showing you how you can add Unisa modules or module. Ne? So I'll be adding one module. Uh, okay, you just have to access Unisa website. Yeah, it is free when you are accessing it. If you're using Vodacom or MTN, then you press my Unisa. Then after pressing my Unisa, you need to log in into my Unisa. But when you're logging into my Unisa, it's going to require you to have data. Yeah? Then you enter your student number, password, then you log in. Then when you log in, you press admin. After pressing admin, it's going to show you like this. If you're using a cell phone, there's uh, three lines on your right side called a dashboard. You just press the dashboard then it's going to give you these options as you can see then uh, you press student admin né? then it's going to show you a list of this or a, a list like this one and then uh, as you can see here register additional modules then you press it then it's going to take you here then uh, uh, some of the previous modules that you'll be doing or even those you that you have registered are going to appear then you press here register of additional study units you press here you press this thing even if you're using a cell phone you press this thing then it's going to take you here then it's going to show you details about yourself uh, postal address names and what what then you just scroll down until you see this then you press continue then after pressing continue, it's going to ask you an amendment or amend, yeah, no amendment or amendment to a qualification. No amendment, it means that you're not changing your course. Amendment simply means that you are changing your course. Then if you're not changing your course, then you press no amendment, then you press continue. And then here, you just only have to select the number of the modules that you have to select you want to enter and i just want to enter only one module so i will just only select one i have selected one if you want to select then you just press this arrow that is pointing down then it's going to show you a number one two up to what what then you just press the number that you want to select i selected one then you press continue when you are done then it's going to take you here study unit then you press this arrow that looks down then you select a certain module that you want to add it's going to be like this. So here I selected PPL 3703, uh, law of delict. As you can see, it has 12 credits. Ne? Then I pressed continue. And then here, the first question is that can you complete your qualification with a dish? of uh, the indicated modules or module ne? so here i selected yes because of the person that i'm doing this for can complete this qualification the only module that is left with is pvr 3703 ne? so if the module that you are adding um can complete your qualification then you say yes if you still have some few modules to go then you will say no ne? and then uh, the next one is that how would you like your study material to be delivered? Then you just press this arrow that is pointing down, then it's going to show you some options. The way you see names of uh, branches, it simply means that um, it is a counter. A counter is where like you can go and take your study material at the campus or the nearest branch. So you just only have to select the nearest branch if you are if you are selecting a counter. Or maybe if you want Korea, you can even select Korea. So it is the last option. Then after that, you press continue. So on this part, you just have to scroll down until you see this part. Request editions or edition. Okay? Then you are email addresses are going to appear, qualification and the module that you have selected. Then you press request. So I have added my module successfully. As you can see, I have added that module successfully because of it. It's even stating that the registration of additional study unit or units were successful. So most people do not show you this part. They don't show you this part. Some of the people that are showing this part, uh, it stayed unsuccessful. And when it stayed unsuccessful, it simply means that at some certain point or stage or where you made an error. So you have to redo it again. A student has to, your registered status has to be temporarily registered. 
temporary register, not progress. Progress is simply means 50 feet. Your registration template can be rejected. Next, please do not forget to subscribe and share the video.